All right, what's going on everyone? It's Eli back again for another video. And in today's video, we're going to be making a quick website. Uh, it's just a job board and uh, the back end. It's just a GraphQL wrapper over the GitHub jobs API. Um, and it's just a quick tutorial on how to use uh, GraphQL and Apollo. So this is the wrapper. And if we go ahead and do this query, uh, you'll see here expressions of interest. And then it says that same exact title as we have over here on the GitHub jobs page. And that same exact um, title we have on our actual website. So GraphQL is the middleman. So um, let's get started. All right. So, all right. So what you, what you guys need to do is go to your um, terminal and go to your directory, wherever you house your product projects, sorry. And, um, I want you guys to go ahead and, uh, make a new directory. And then we're going to call it GraphQL GitHub jobs. All right, let's see the into that. All right, and then let's open it up in VS Code. Okay. All right, let's put this to the side. And uh, what we need to do is we need to go ahead and type yarn init or npm init. Um, that'll just initialize our project. We'll hit yes, 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 yes. Actually, we want app.js for our entry point. Yes, we can just hit enter for all of these. All right. And then you see here we have a, our package.json. Um, then I want you to make a directory called a uh, server. All right, and that'll, that's where our node um, Apollo server will be housed. Um, and then inside of there, let's create an, a new file and we'll call that app.js. All right, and then we'll get back to that. Um, in the meantime, let's go ahead and we'll say yarn create react app, and then we're gonna call it client. In, uh, inside of our home directory and we'll let that do its thing all right and uh, back to our server all right so if we go to our package.json um, we're going to need to um, add some dev dependencies and we're going to be adding we're going to be adding concurrently And we're going to be adding uh, Nodemon, and that's just so so concurrently that'll allow us to um, to run our React app and our Node server uh, at the same time with one uh, script. And uh, Nodemon that allows us to uh, auto reload while we're um, creating our Node application. All right, so that created the React app. Let's go ahead and clear. Okay. All right. Now let's CD into our server. Actually, you know what? Let's install concurrently in Nodemon. So we're going to say yarn add concurrently dash, de dash dev. And then we'll do the same thing for Nodemon. Uh, yarn add. All right, perfect. All right, and then we need to create our scripts. So let's go ahead and just make this a little bigger. Okay, so. All 
right, let's create. Um, actually, we have to create our script. All right. Let's add our brackets and our commas. And our first script, that'll just be client. And we're going to CD our client whenever we typed, whenever we type yarn client. And then we wanted to do yarn start. All right. And then uh, for server, whenever we only want to start our server, we'll say CD server and uh, yarn. I will say node. And then we wanted to go into our server folder. Um, actually, let's create another folder inside of that and call that source SRC. And then we'll drag our app.js into our source folder. So we'll say node source slash slash app.js. Perfect. And then we need one more so that it can run them concurrently. So we'll call that dev. And then we'll say concurrently. I spelled that right. Dash dash. We want it to kill others on fail. So that anytime uh, either the client or the server fails, it'll just kill them all. Uh, so that we can figure out what's wrong. So we'll say yarn server. This is only if you have yarn installed. If you don't, type npm um, run server. And then up here, we'll type npm run start. All right. Type another slash. And then we'll type a quotation mark and then slash. Yarn client slash. All right, perfect. And then we'll just say yarn dev. Oh, we had a typo. It's supposed to be scripts with an S. You see here, I ran um, CD client yarn start and then CD client node. And then we'll let this load. So this is our React app on localhost 3000. And then in our, on our back end, we don't have anything running at the moment. So, all right, so we can close this for now. Let's go ahead and go to our server. All right, so in our server, um, we need a package.json in that as well. So let's go back to our terminal. We're just going to end this and then we're going to say, we're going to CD into our server and then we're going to type yarn and it dash Y. And that just says yes to everything. And in our server folder, we have our package.json. And that's what will house um, our other dependencies that's, uh, that are used for the node server. All right, so um, let's go back to our package.json. And, um, and that is it for the first video. So um, in the next video, we're going to be starting on our node Apollo server. So uh, I'll see you guys there.